Dear Professor Mashimo, how's your latest invention? I just know he's gonna be awesome. Your biggest fan, Tommy Turnbull. Dear Tony, he has surpassed all the expectations, but I fear he may fall into the wrong hands. So I'm sending him somewhere safe. Somewhere perhaps he can learn to be a true boy. A true robot boy. wrong with these beauties. Uh... I need you to help me out, Ro. <laughs> Is there anything you can do about Gus's stinky breath? Okay, Gummy. I think. To the dentist. What? Forget it! This guy looks good. Dr. H has a magical, painless way with tooth decay. I am telling you, Tommy, I don't need no dentist. Augustus, the doctor is ready to see you now. Go ahead. That's Augustus right there. It's him, not me, I swear. He's the one with the rotting teeth. I'm the one with the rotting brain. <laughs> Just a little joke. I mean, uh, patient. Well, well. If it isn't our big mouth little heckler friend, the one who ruined my career in magic and consigned me to a miserable life of dentistry. Going to fix your mouth problem. But good. <gasps> There's something 
weird about this dentist's office. Tell Robot Boy about it. No light lady in window. Well, how are your teeth? Wow, nice choppers. Was it as bad as you thought it would be? Nope, I didn't see the thing. The doctor even gave me a free toothbrush, which I ain't gonna need. Afternoon, ladies. <laughs> oh, did I just say that? Uh, oh. Sorry, guys. He, he, he was just talking to me. Okay. Okay. That was close. Hey, where'd you girls get those cheesy looking tricycles? <laughs> Looks like somebody left a monkey cage open at the zoo. with small aircraft always landing on that big flat head of yours? <laughs> Not because of its color. It is indeed because of the way the water flows. Look at this photograph here. The ripples on the water indicate a northeasterly direction, noted in China as the So, who can tell me where China's legendary Yellow River is? Why don't you take a look at your pants? Oh. I didn't mean to say that. It's because... Because I was blinded by your chromodome, Baldy. Oh, uh... <laughs> Stu, Milky, please escort Augustus to the principal's office. <laughs> I swear it wasn't me saying that stuff. You gotta believe me. Oh, wait, I forgot. You can't understand because you don't have any brains, do you, ugly? He called me stupid and you ugly. Oh. oh, he called you ugly, stupid? Why, you little. Hey, Gus, I think I know why you're acting so weird. I think it has something to do with your new teeth. Yo, that is just so dumb, Tommy. Teeth don't talk, people do. Registration for the tough guy fighting competition will now begin. No pushing, shoving, or blows to the head. Competition, huh? The only thing tough about these guys is looking at them. Ugly. You kiss your mamas with those faces? Beating on the chubby kid will now begin. Push this. definitely I mean, I mean, I mean. I mean, if my dog was as ugly as you guys, I'd shave his butt and teach him to walk backwards. Yark, yark. That's it. We're going back to that dentist. Here, my flaky little friends, have some of my special fish food. I've run out of the regular stuff which you seem to enjoy, which stinks the house out, so I've shaved off some of my calluses. Felonious Hex! I should have guessed. How are you enjoying your new teeth, smart boy? I'm not! Thank you very much, Joe. I want my old stinky teeth back, pronto! You wanted to heckle. Well, now you can heckle to your heart's content. <laughs>
going, bowling ball head? Guess what, Schmo? You're not worth your weight in scrap metal. No, that's not no. Who missing me? <laughs> there he is! Get him! Time to go! Tough break, boys. I was on your side. Maybe... Maybe if you weren't so busy being stupid, muscle-bound, lazy, boring, untalented, badly dressed, foul-smelling, and just plain butt ugly, you would have gotten him! Uh, excuse me, I have to go and feed the fish. You haven't seen the last of Melonius Hicks! They think we wouldn't notice. Change channel. Yo, Tommy, you're running low on sour cream and onion pork rinds. You should let your mom know about that. Yeah, I'll get right on it. G-Man called the remote. No way, it's my house. I <laughs> You've done nothing but watch TV all week. Why don't you boys go outside or read a book? Mom! Come on, get real! <clears throat> Tommy, let me handle this. Hey, Mrs. Turnbull. Did you do something with your hair? Because you're a smoking hottie, I tell you. If you weren't my best friend's mom... <sighs> nice try, Gus. <laughs> Call me G-Man. Let's go, boys. Outside. Ugh. This eats it, man. We're missing so many good programs right now. Tommy, watch! Ugh. You gotta throw it a little harder. Great idea! Robot Boy has satellite reception powers. If we could somehow hook a screen up to him, I bet we could watch all the TV we want. Oh, yeah? And where are we gonna get a screen, hmm? I don't know. Maybe an old computer. People throw them out all the time. Hmm. I like the way you think. Let's hit the dumpsters! Okay, Rogue, I need you to activate your satellite reception. Okay, Tommy. Sweet. Here we go. Yes! Funny, bro. <laughs> see? <laughs> hey, let's see what else is on. Uh, this is lame, dude. Rosa, no significant nada a mí. Usted es el un amor de yo. Cindy, morirá. Viene mi querido. Bésame, dice que me perdonas. Oh, okay, Ro, enough fooling around. We're trying to watch TV here. I'm gonna pretend I hate you to your face. Yeah, I'm gonna smack you over the head with a ladle. I got bigger face on my arms than you. Yeah, my waist is bigger than your arm. Ah! That's all you can do. Shout! Yeah, I can punch too. 
Whoa. Oh, but you missed, but on camera, it looks like you <laughs> hit me! Oh. Oh. I dropped my watch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seems like the TV shows are affecting his circuitry so that he imitates whatever's on TV. Uh, yeah, that's great. You wanna maybe turn it off before he kills me? All right. <sighs> I guess I better take out that TV set before something really bad happens. Can't you just fix it? There's a flick on tonight I really want to see. We're sucking mutants from Planet Z. No way! It's too dangerous! Tommy! Dinner! Gotta roll. Hmm? I'll check you later. Unless I check you first. You and me got a date with some brain suckers. Hi, guys. What doing? I thought you and me could watch a little TV. Don't mind the bike lock. Just a little security precaution. the with an Earth Girl and he comes to say goodbye to her. We'll dress you up as the Earth Girl and when Robot Boy comes to say goodbye, we'll change the channel. Wh wh why do I have to be the Earth Girl? Why not you? Well, because you're much foxier than me. <laughs> uh, can't argue with that, yo. Yo, Tommy, do you think this dress makes me look heavy? You look fine. The color's all wrong, dude. It doesn't complement my skin tone. Gus, would you shut up? 
He's gotta be here soon. Dude, you look kind of nervous. Who, me? I'm fine. Relax. What could go wrong? Well, it's probably not a big deal, but there's something I forgot to mention about the movie. Yeah? See, the girl tries to stop the alien from destroying the capital, so he kind of uh, uh, blows her away. Oh, is that all? I... What? No way! I am not doing this! Here he comes. It'll be fine. I'll be right behind you. Greetings, <laughs> Earth Girl. Uh, um, shh. Hey, alien dude, what's shaking? You are very beautiful, Earth Girl. Uh, thanks. I mean, I don't think this is the right dress for me, but... Uh... Too bad I have to destroy you. <laughs> Can't we talk about this? Uh, I don't really care if you destroy the capital. Uh... What's wrong? I don't know. Something's jammed. Farewell, Earth Girl. Tommy, do something. Tommy. <laughs> Phew. Oh, good save back there, Tommy. Thanks. It always works in our TV at home. Hey, I just remembered there's another movie I want to see. Utah Power Tool Carnage. Hand over that remote. I just remembered there's something I want to see. Thank you.